Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. In this video, I'll show you some tips and tricks when crocheting in the round, especially with how to correct some very common issues. We'll start by discussing an alternative to the magic ring. The purpose of a magic ring is to create a smaller center area, but some yarn doesn't always cooperate with the magic ring. An alternative to this is to create a tight slip knot. Then make your first chain. Then proceed with your normal stitches like a chain and single crochet stitches, this time all made in that one chain. The end result might not be as tight as a normal magic ring, but it's pretty close. The next topic involves double crochet hats. Very often if we follow traditional crochet patterns, we'll end up with this line of spaces where we made a chain three to start each round and then a slip stitch to finish. There's a simple way to keep this from happening. Start the round however you like magic ring, chain one, or chain four. Then make your normal chain three to begin the round. However, do not count this chain three as a stitch. Just ignore it. Proceed to make the number of double crochet stitches you are supposed to have in the round. Normally it would be 12 double crochet. Once you have the 12 double crochet stitches plus the initial chain three completed, we're going to slip stitch, but we're not going to slip stitch to the normal chain three. Instead, we'll slip stitch to the very first actual double crochet stitch. Then we proceed on to round two the regular way by making a chain three. And again, as before, we're going to ignore this chain three and not count it as a stitch. So then we'll proceed to make the stitches required on this round, which is usually two double crochet stitches in each stitch. Then when we slip stitch, we'll connect it to the very first actual double crochet stitch. This technique will help avoid those gaps and spaces you end up with when working in double crochet rounds. The next tip is when working with crochet toys, also known as amigurumi. We'll oftentimes have to do a single crochet two together decrease stitch. The problem with the traditional way is it leaves a large gap. To avoid this, you can insert your crochet hook just in the front loops of the next two stitches. Then proceed with making the decrease stitch. You'll find this avoids the gaps and makes your work still look very nice. When crocheting in the round, we have a tendency to think only in one direction. However, some stitches like the crochet star stitch actually look better if you turn your work, like you would when working with rows in regular flat type of crochet. So don't be afraid to turn your work when working in the round and make your normal chain and stitches as you would in the flat type of crochet. Turn your work back around and continue on with the next round. And that's it. I hope these tips and tricks can help you with your next project of crocheting in the round.